Hello, everybody. I am Twenty Two Tiger Dude. <laughs> Don't be frightened. I'm not gonna kill you guys. I'm not dangerous. Before I review Psycho, I'm gonna actually have two guest stars. And yes, I'm gonna be celebrating in black and white format. Because if I reviewed Psycho in color, what's the point? There's just no spirit in that. But in case you guys wanna refresh your minds and see some nice color very quickly, let me go ahead and be nice for a sec. <sighs> ah, see the color? You see it? Ah, the nice breeze, isn't it? I hope you guys got enough color because that's the only color you're going to get in this review. Back to black and white format. Ha! <sighs> Much better. The spotlight in black and white format is going to go to Philly 2K5481 and then Brian Mendoza. So, Philly 2K5481 and Brian Mendoza. Take it away, guys. What's up, everybody? How you doing? I'm here to review the movie... Psycho, I want to thank 22 Tiger Dude for giving me the opportunity to do a collaboration movie review with him. Thank you very much. It's an honor, really. I always wanted to do one of these, you know, like do a collaboration video or someone asked me if they if I would like to do a review for their channel or something. And I find those type of reviews so cool. So yeah, I mean, thank you very much. The movie Psycho, directed by Alfred Hitchcock, probably one of his best movies. A lot of people say that North by West is his is the greatest movie of all time now. Yeah, I believe it's in knocked down Citizen Kane to number two, and a lot of people consider North by North by Northwest. I think it is called North by Northwest, right? If I'm not mistaken. One of his greatest movies, and this one, and he has other ones like Rear Window, The Man Who Knew Too Much, which I have seen. I have seen a couple of Hitchcock movies, and I really enjoy his movies. But yeah, this one, I loved it. I loved this movie. Watched it for the first time last year, back in 2012, and I had a great time watching it. Watched it a few times, and I don't ever get tired of watching this movie. I have not seen the sequel, so really can't comment on those. But yeah, this movie starts Janet Lee. Jimmy Lee Curtis' mom, Anthony Perkins. So the story about his um psycho is, Janet Lee. I think she she works at a realtor place at a real estate company, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And they ask her if she could take this money to the bank the next day for the next day. So she said, okay, I, I'm gonna go home early, you know, and I'll take your money. But I guess she gets into in too deep and she says, you know what, why not just leave? Why not just take the money and steal it and leave? So that's what she does. She takes the money, she leaves. She goes to a car dealer, trades in her car for a new car, for another car. So she starts driving and she ends up at this motel, um, the Bates Motel. And she rents a room and then that's when we are introduced to Norman Bates, played by Anthony Perkins. So he brings her food, and they start having a conversation, this and that. And then he's like, how about tomorrow morning before you leave, I'll give you some breakfast. She's like, okay, that would be nice, we go have some breakfast together. So later that night, she's taking a shower, and that's when he appears, and he kills her. He kills her. The next day, he disposes her body, puts her in the trunk, gets rid of the new car that she just traded him for, throws it in this swamp pond. And he gets rid of like most of the evidence and stuff. He doesn't even realize about the money. The money was folded up in a, in a newspaper. So he throws it all in the trunk. And... So her sister is looking for her, and her boyfriend's looking for her also. So her sister thinks that her boyfriend has something to do, you know, Janet Lee's boyfriend in the movie has something to do with the murder, you know, with her disappearing. And he's like, no, I haven't seen her, this and that. Um, so both of them, they start looking for her. They end up at the Bates Motel. 
Norman Bates is like, no, I haven't seen her. She, you know, this and that. The, the detective shows up and he tells him no. So he like denying everything. So they keep coming over. So they see the big mansion up in the hill, the big house. So they pop up over there. You know, the detective goes over there. And he goes into a room. And that's when he discover, you know, Norman Bates' mom corpse. And then you see Norman Bates comes out in a wig, dressed up as a woman, and kills the detective. And the detective falls down the stairs and um, breaks his neck. And then you have Janet Lee's sister, the one that's looking for her, in the house also. He and Norman Bates has her like captured. So yeah, I mean, it's all it's a awesome film, really good movie. And I love the ending when they take him in, the police takes him in, and then they take her in the room, in the little room, and you hear like his mom's voice and his voice. So yeah, uh, it's like they say that he has like a split personality. The picture quality on this looks great. I have not seen the special features for this. It has a lot of special features. But great film. You can't go wrong with Psycho. And I know I'm supposed to give this a rating system. How much I would rate the movie. So for Psycho. Out of 10 stars. I will give it 10 stars. That's how good it is. So anyways. Hope you enjoyed the review. And once again, thank you, 22 Tiger Dude, for letting me be part of the um, review. I really appreciate it, and take care. Hey, everybody, it's Brian Mendoza, and I'm back for for 22 Tiger Dudes movie review. Once again, I'm in this collaboration Halloween review. Um, this is the second one I did, and the first one I did in this other review was The Thing, which is the first one I picked up this month, and I reviewed the the thing, but today we're going to talk about one of my favorite, it's my favorite horror movie of all time, and it's, it's created by the master of suspense, Alfred Hitchcock. Today we're going to talk about 1960's Psycho. Psycho is about, once again, about Marion, she steals some money, she wants to get a new life, so she stops by Bates Motel, she wants to relax, she meets Bates, Norman Bates, who's the owner of it, he gets, she checks in the room, that's how she gets murdered. And that's when the film gets a little bit different. It's more about Norman Bates after she gets murdered. The famous shower scene is very well, well shot. Um, that's what... Yeah, there's like twists and turns in this movie. I gotta say, Anthony Perkins as Norman Bates is pretty much one of the most creepiest movie films I've ever seen on screen. On the screen, literally. And this is a pretty well-made film. Very, uh, Vivian... Not Vivian Lee, I think I've got the wind. What is going on? Well, I forgot her name. Just um, let me know. I just forgot her name in the movie, but um, it's time. Jamie Lee Curtis's mom. She did a really good job in this film. She's probably one of the most famous screamers on the big screen. Also, Alfred Hitchcock directed this film very well. It's shot in black and white. It's not shot in color. Well, they shot in color in 1998's remake. The remake is horrible. I heard it's like shot for shot, by the way. Um, it's a very well shot film. Very suspenseful. It's some parts it gets crazy. Especially in Norm. I'm not gonna... Oh, well, I'm not gonna give away spoilers or the twist. If you guys have not have seen Psycho, you guys know that there's a twist in this film. If you guys have not seen it. But yeah, I'm gonna give this film an A plus because it's such a perfect horror film thriller. So yeah, that's my review for Psycho. And back to you, Twenty Two Tiger Dude. Thank you so much, Philly Two K Fifty Four Eighty One, and thank you so much, Brian Mendoza. You two are awesome. You guys, please check out Philly 2 k 5481s channel. I'm going to leave a link to his channel below. He has a great channel. He does a lot of reviews. He'll do Blu-ray hauls. Please check it out. Give the guy a lot of support. And another guy that deserves a lot of support as well is Brian Mendoza. Please check out his awesome channel. He also does Blu-ray hauls. He'll do Blu-ray updates, unboxings, more reviews. All right, you guys. So... 
I don't need to discuss the plot for Psycho since the plot's already been said, so I'm gonna go right away and just say my thoughts on Psycho. Wow. This film is phenomenal. Psycho is great. I love Psycho. This is one of the best horror films I've ever seen. Although, I don't think it's really a horror film because, yeah, sure, you do get horror elements here and there. But to me, I've always honestly viewed Psycho more as a mystery film. That's personally my own opinion because there aren't really enough horror elements in this movie to really make it a horror film. So, in my opinion, my Psycho is more of a mystery film. But nonetheless, this film is just... Wow! This is an amazing film directed by Alfred Hitchcock. The acting in this film is so terrific. The black and white format that is used in Psycho is just so beautiful. And you could actually see why Alfred Hitchcock filmed it in black and white. It was necessary. And in that shower scene, I was so impressed that Alfred Hitchcock actually used chocolate syrup as blood. That's right. And that and that scene, he used chocolate syrup, and I thought that was creative, that was original, and you knew the guy had some serious thinking when he was doing that scene. I was just so impressed all around by what this guy did with this film. Frame by frame, camera angle by camera angle, it just looks so Magnificent. And the performances all around are all great. Anthony Perkins as Norman Bates. He does a really good job here. Just the way the guy stutters, the way he talks, the way he just stares. Like, wow. Credit to that dude. And all the other actors, they do a really good job here. I'm just blown away by the performances. I'm blown away by the shots, how Alfred Hitchcock filmed it. The horror elements because there are some very creepy moments in this film will kind of give you nightmares. The storyline was just built so smoothly. Of course you can't forget about the score in Psycho. The score. Oh my goodness. That has got to be one of the best horror scores. Dun, dun. I I love that score. It's paced really smoothly. It's very well edited as well. There's not a moment in this film where I thought it felt choppy or rushed. It's it's paced so smoothly and so well, it's edited so well, perfect cinematography, the perfect black and white format, the perfect performances, everything about this film was just perfect, it's terrifying, it's very suspenseful, The there are slow moments that are just so intense, like even when the movie is slow, it doesn't feel slow because when it's actually slow, it's actually really intense. It's actually mind-gripping. The dialogue, every word that comes out of the actor's mouth, it means something. It's very important. Oh my gosh, when it just gets near to the end, that's the scariest part of the whole film for me. Yeah, the shower scene, uh, it's kind of scary for me. But if I have to say the one that really got to me and really got stuck with me for a long time, it's something that happened near the end and I never saw it coming. But I got to say as props to Alfred Hitchcock, everyone else involved in this movie, they did such, wow, they did such a phenomenal job. Everything about Psycho is just phenomenal. I love this movie. It's flawless. I have no flaws with Psycho at all. It is perfectly directed, perfectly written, perfectly acted. Overall, I am just so impressed with Psycho. I loved everything about it. The cinematography, the writing, the direction, the shots, the frame, the camera angles. Oh my gosh. From beginning to end, it is truly amazing. It's one of the best 
horror mystery films I've ever seen, even though I do consider this more of a mystery film, to be honest, I gotta give Psycho four out of four stars. In my eyes, it is perfect. It's one of the best films Alfred Hitchcock has ever made. It's so awesome. I am 22 Tiger Dude, and don't forget that I will always have... Tiger Power!